Pause, contact. Contact. And there's contact between Sheryl Paul and Campbell Pilly. Good morning and welcome to round four of the Daniel Ricciardo series. We're just slap bang in between Cheltenham and Oxford here at Little Risington. The old RAF Airbase, one of the fastest circuits on the calendar. Eight corners, just around about a thousand metres of tarmac for the drivers to navigate their way around this weekend. We are live on Facebook and on YouTube, giving people the opportunity to see all the action here on a blisteringly hot, sunny July day. That is the circuit that the drivers will have to find their way around for their qualifying session, their heat, their pre-final and their grand final today. Let's have a closer look at what Little Risington has to offer. So here we are on a lap of uh, Risington, just getting ready for the academy into the first corner. This corner's flat out, get next to the kerb. Run just over onto the kerb on the left-hand side. Don't turn in too early here. Little lift get the cart straight in the middle here and then just turn in for the middle loop push the gas but stay quite tight on the exit so you don't slide top bend turn in late get next to the curb on the exit and run wide just onto the rumble strip and now flat out down to the dog leg look for the braking brake straight late don't turn in too early front left wheel just misses the curb there and the right front just here let the cart run out to the left hand side now these two corners flat out absolutely flat out keep it smooth on the wheel one turn all the way through here get next to the curb don't run too wide onto the rumble strip look for the braking cone late turn in here a little bit dab on the brakes turn in late don't hit this curb and don't hit that curb let the cart just straighten up follow around and on to another lap, absolutely flat out. A view of the Risington circuit there by Andy Cox, a man who knows a thing or two about fast laps around Risington and winning races around Risington as well. So round four, we've already been to the Deep South at Clay Pigeon for round one. We've been to the, the Midlands for at Wilton Mill for round two. We've been to Wales, which is where we were just around about a month ago. And now we are here for round four. So this is the turning point of the season. Once we get through today's racing, we will be past halfway. We then head over to the south of Wales in at the end of August to Landau for round five before we head back up to the northwest and Hooton Park in September for round six. And it will all come to a dramatic conclusion at Fulbeck in Lincolnshire at the end of October. Well, the weather certainly won't be as it is here today. It is blistering hot. We're certainly tipping around 28, 29 degrees yesterday. Something similar expected today, although there is quite a breeze here at Risington. As the drivers look for any last bits of shade they can get their hands on. That's why you'll see the umbrellas, not through the rain but through the, the hot weather. Interestingly, when we were here last year for the Daniel Ricciardo series in 2021, mid-pandemic, it was also blisteringly hot here at Little Risington. So the DRS 62, our youngest drivers, are on the dummy grid, about to start their qualifying session. 19 of them in the field this weekend and a mixture of our DRS 62 drivers and our DRS Academy drivers, those in their first season of the championship. Those drivers are the ones with the black number plates, the white numbers, our DRS 62. More experienced drivers with the yellow numbers, uh, sorry, the yellow plates and the black numbers in terms of the championship two drivers fairly close to each other oscar walsh on 647 points then jack robinson who was the winner last time out at glenny gores on 638 points so nine points separating the front two a further 33 points back to ewan scott 
because there's so many points available at every opportunity. That sort of deficit can be fairly easily overturned or closed. Again, we've got a couple of the DRS 62 drivers just holding on and just waiting for the session to begin before they go out onto circuit. The rest of them are already well on their way around their first familiar familiarization lap. Remember, you can interact with us today via the live streams on Facebook and on YouTube. Leave your comments to support your favorite drivers. So a little bit more overcast here than it was before. There's uh, Dorian Melek just about to come onto the circuit. I think he's going to be the last of the DRS 62 drivers to make his way out there. So he joins the circuit at the back of the field in loads of clear air for Dorian. Remember, you can keep up to date with the live timing via Alpha Timing. .co.uk, click on the live timing link, click on the Daniel Ricciardo series section, and you'll have all of the live timing as it happens here at round four of the DRS series at Little Bissington. Oscar Walsh it is, who is fastest of all at the moment. And Bailey Wolf, the Academy Series leader, up into second place and certainly shown an ability to stay on terms with the more experienced Daniel, uh, DRS 62 drivers, has Bailey. As Jack Robinson goes faster still. So still in the early stage of this session, just starting to feel their way in. So Robinson, Walsh, and then Nat Johnston, who's up into third. And then the number seven of Benjamin Baker. So expect the order to change in the opening stage, and they'll just settle into a routine and rhythm. Interesting to see if they have different tyres on the DRS 62s. Let's just see if there is the same sort of tyre drop-off as we saw with the DRS 100s. Just looking at the five of Matt Johnston go past our commentary position here. A great elevated commentary position at Risington, right over the start-finish line, right in line with the chequered flag as the drivers come out of the pit bend. And there is the number three of Oscar Walsh, the championship leader, second fastest out there at the moment. He's heading down now to the dog leg, this left right section of the circuit that brings them down now through bottom bend and middle bend and up to the elbow, which is one of the most iconic corners. There's generally a list of iconic corners, if there was one. This will probably be in the top 10 of UK car track iconic corners. The elbow, fast left-hander, tightens on the exit as well. There's not an awful lot of room to work with as they come out of that corner. It is an overtaking opportunity, not a great one. But it is it's probably a better opportunity to try and get a slingshot around the pit corner and up the main straight and try and have a go into Paddock Bend. That's the place to do your overtaking here. Get a slipstream up the short start finish straight and find a way past into Paddock Bend. So let's run you through the drivers so far with four laps completed the DRS plate of Jack Robinson is fastest a 48 158 
is the lap time. 48.366, couple of times slower for Oscar Walsh. And then Bailey Wolf moves back up into third place. 48.708 for Bailey Wolf last time round. Then Benjamin Baker is fourth, and Harley Drake is fifth, and Nat Johnston sixth, and Ewan Scott is now in seventh. Lucas Esser just made up three places up into eighth. He's second of the academy drivers out there at the moment. And then Oliver Harrison is ninth, and Aston Redpath is tenth. Daxton Grove, ninth in last year's championship. Just struggling down there in an 11th place at the moment. He's done a 42-9, which is around about a second off the pace. And it's a little bit more now, because a new fastest lap for Jack Robinson. 48-114 for Robinson. It's the fastest of the session so far on lap five. So they are still getting some operating temperature out of these smaller Vega tyres. Forty-eight one for Robinson, forty-eight three for Walsh, forty-eight seven at a four tenth drop off then from Walsh to Wolf, second to third. Ethan Whitlam just on his fastest lap of the session so far up to fourteenth, and Indigo Pickering from a fifty point six one two up to sixteenth at the expense of Jensen Woodhouse and Ava Reynolds the. Last of the runners at the moment, a 51.815, going faster every lap is Ava. No change at the front, 48.114 is the lap to, time to beat. And the man who's trying to beat it is that man there, Oscar Walsh. He's got a couple just tucked in behind him, just trying to get dragged along by him. Walsh can do in terms of lap times next time round. So has he managed to go any faster? No, he hasn't. In fact, he's dropped right off as Oscar Walsh, 51 flat. And we are about that time if we're Considering a consistency of compound between the DRS 100s and the DRS 62s, we are at that point where the seven or eight laps complete, and if you don't go faster now, the only person that's gone faster in the last couple of laps is, is Ava Reynolds. I think Ava's actually headed back into the pit. Has um, uh, Aston Redpath on the investigation as well. There's a big group of carts now, all trying to drag each other along. Here is that group. Heading over start finish, they're not going any faster though. In fact, they're all going slower at the moment. So they might have turned it into a little bit of a, a race on track. As, oh, there is Ava Reynolds just going over start finish with a very sick sounding DRS card. Should be a yellow flag at eight. There is a yellow flag at post eight just to, as they try and recover Ava's car back into part firm eight. It certainly didn't sound very healthy as it came past me here. So Robinson, Walsh, Wolf, Baker, Harley Drake is fifth fastest, Nat Johnson sixth, Ewan Scott is seventh, and then Lucas Esser, Oliver Harrison and Aston Redpath. They're the top ten, three academy drivers in the top ten with Wolf, Esser and Redpath. And the rest of them are just pretty much circling as they were. They might be more worried about the drivers around them than putting in fast lap times at the moment because nobody has gone faster than their personal best for quite some time here and with just 30 seconds or so to go in the session I wouldn't imagine we're going to see anybody really make an impact on the certainly the top placings so Robinson Walsh Wolf They are your top three. 48.114, fastest lap. Second fastest, 48.366. Another three tenths of a second back to the 
48-7-0-8 of Bailey Wolf. Lots of messages of support on Facebook as well. People rooting for Dorian Malek, 12 fastest at the moment. Oscar Walsh, who's second fastest. Jensen Woodhouse also receiving some nice support on social media. And some support for some of the DRS 100 drivers as well. Joe Jennings and Brink Calder, Maximilian Salarski. I'm getting a shout on social media. You can join in as well by sending your messages of support onto Facebook or indeed onto the YouTube channel, the DRS series YouTube channel. Put that into your search engine. You should find round four. That's the end of the session then. There was nobody went any faster at the end, as you, as we sort of have come to expect now. And I expect the DRS125 to, to completely take that into account when they plan their qualifying session. So Jack Robinson fastest, 48.114. Oscar Walsh second fastest. Got a couple of attempts to find has Oscar. And then another few attempts back to Bailey Wolf in third. Benjamin Baker was fourth fastest. Harley Drake fifth. Then Johnston, Scott, Esser, Harrison and Redpath, they're the top 10. Daxton Groves, 11th fastest. Dorian Malik was 12th fastest. Ethan Whitlam, Cruz Dalton, Oscar Roach, Indigo Pickering, Jensen Woodhouse and Ava Reynolds. In that order were the remainder of the runners. So shading from the sun, which is... Just reappeared through the thick cloud, but the temperature certainly not wavering here. Up into the top end of 20s. 27 degrees currently out there. Precursor to the expected heat wave later this coming week. There's more cloud forecast, but the temperature certainly isn't expected to drop. So it's tough going out there for these young drivers, and they're just trying to shade themselves as best they possibly can in preparation for this first heat of the day for the DRS 62s. Just heading out towards their formation lap now could be close this the championship certainly close two of them at it at the moment but we know there is still opportunities for the likes of Ewan Scott third in the championship the likes of Matt Johnston all within touching distance just about but Oscar Walsh is who leads the championship but he won't be on pole position that will be Jack Robinson second in the championship nine points behind Oscar Walsh. And they'll complete one of their two formation laps. Remember from here we head on to the DRS 125s. They're the next race to complete their first and only heat of the day. That's scheduled for those tuning in at 25 past one. Lunch break from 25 to two to two o'clock. We're then back with all the finals after that. Pre-finals for all classes and all drivers. A B final for the DRS 100s who don't make it through to the main final. And then our three grand finals. DRS 62, four o'clock. DRS 125, 20 past four and DRS 100 at 22.5 this afternoon. The prize presentation will follow shortly after, around about quarter past five. 
And we'll be on the big pack up and the big head down towards Landau in a month's time for round five. But we're still focused on round four. And the start of the DRS 62 first heat. Who gets the drop into the first corner? First round, the outside goes Walsh. Can he make it stick through the second part of Paddock? I think he has. He's gone all the way around the outside and now has the inside into the loop. He takes the lead then. So Oscar Walsh then. It is who leads at the start of this first heat. Second on the road now is Jack Robinson. So first and second in the championship, first and second in the road. And it was brave to go round the outside by Oscar Walsh. And very shortly we'll get the full rundown of who's made the most of the first lap here at Risington. It was certainly Walsh who made the most of the first corner. Round they come then, they've all managed to get through the first lap and now they head over start finish line. Will Robinson have a look into Paddock? No. Decides better of it. Already a gap back to Bailey Wolf in third. He's got Benjamin Baker, Nat Johnston, Harley Drake, all close attention. There wasn't actually that much movement on lap one. There was a change for the lead. Nat Johnston made a place up to fifth. Dorian Millet made a place up to 11th and Ethan Whitlam also up to 12th. That was at the expense of Daxton Groves, who dropped down to 13th place. As we all head through the elbow once more. Here are the front two. There's no change as yet. Now, how does Robinson play this? Does he decide to just stay where he is for now? Knowing that they are driving away fairly comfortably from... Wolf in third as Johnston moves up to fourth and Ewan Scott is up into sixth as well so Ewan Scott will be aware that he's got to try and get back on terms with his front two third in the championship at the moment he'll certainly be keen to just to try and get a few more points in the bag don't let these two run away with it at the front of the field and don't let them run away with it at the front of the championship either here we go then is this Robinson down the inside? He got a really good run out of the right hander, and he has managed to find a way past through the middle bend. Will Walsh come back at him as they go through the elbow? He doesn't. He just holds on in behind. Now he'll spend a lap or two just working out where Robinson is quick now. Robinson will have other ideas. He'll want to break the toy. He'll want to get away from Oscar Walsh if he possibly can do. Knowing that there's an advantage to be taken here in terms of championship points as well, the battle's raging on behind between Wolf, Johnston, Baker and Ewan Scott. Harley Drake is seventh, then Lucas Esse is now up into eighth, and Oliver Harrison is ninth, and Aston Redpath is tenth. Indigo Pickering and Ava Reynolds have also made places up to 16th and 17th, respectively, at the expense of Jensen Woodhouse, who's the last of the runners in 18th place at the moment. Here are the front two. A little bit ragged from Walsh. In fact, he made a mistake, didn't he? As he came out of the left hand of the elbow, he went very, very wide. And look at the opportunity it's now given Robinson, because Robinson just got a little bit of daylight between himself and Walsh. Just a cart length or so. And now Walsh has got to try and scamper in behind. He's got to rally. He's got to try and find a way back on terms with the race leader. Otherwise, he will disappear into the distance and what we know is that we know Jack Robinson has a good ability to lead at the front of these races and really start to stretch his advantage over the drivers in behind. And Robinson Walsh with a new third place driver as well in the form of the number five of Nat Johnston. So Johnston is up ahead of Bailey Wolf, who is still the first of the academy drivers. So he leads the DRS Academy race, Lucas Esser is second in that, eighth on the road, and then Aston Redpath third in that, tenth on the road. What a good battle between third, fourth and fifth, and they're still at it, aren't they, as they go through the loop and head up, and I think he's just managed to hold on to that. Fourth place now has Bailey Wolf. he's got Benjamin Baker tucked in behind him, he's also got Ewan Scott for number four, in close proximity as well as we stream through. Scott is up into fifth place. And here is, so this is Johnston just holding off or trying to hold off the advances. Oh, there was a bit of contact there, wasn't there? That's where 
Bailey Wolf lost a place. A little bit over exuberant to try and find a way past into Paddock. He certainly wasn't fully alongside on the previous lap. And now he's having to fend a rear guard action against the likes of Ewan Scott and Benjamin Baker. Now back at the front, we said about how Walsh needed to close that gap back onto Jack Robinson. He's done that and here he comes down the inside. Walsh to the inside, does he retake the lead? He does. Retakes the lead then through the dog leg on the previous lap. New race leader was our old race leader. So Oscar Walsh back up into the lead. Robinson then had a three or four lap stint at the front. But it looks like Oscar Walsh has had enough and with two and a half minutes remaining, here is the move. Just pulls out the slipstream, clear, clean and clear as you like. Down the inside, not an awful lot of resistance from Robinson and nor should there be at that point of the circuit once Walsh had managed to get that DRS car all the way alongside. He's a little bit wide, isn't he? Walsh has made a mistake here. A little bit wide, he has to shut the door as they then go down towards the dog leg. He was just a little bit ragged coming out of the loop. That meant he didn't have the right line going into top bend. And Robinson just keeping him honest at the moment. You would imagine it's going to come from one of these two. The race winning heat one. A little bit wide on entry again into middle bend. A little bit wide again, so he's really struggling to get onto apexes, is Oscar Walsh. And that is going to put pay to his lead, I think, as they go side by side. Can Walsh stick it around the outside and hold on to this lead? He'll have the line as they go for it. Loopy is going to hold on. Now then, can Robinson come back at him as they go into top bend? The side by side is top class. DRS 62 racing from these two young drivers as they head down the hill once more and he has kept him at bay Oscar Walsh they were side by side for two or three corners and it all came because Oscar Walsh really struggled to hit three or four apexes in consecutive corners and now comes Robinson he's gone a little bit wide again Robinson on a carbon copy of the movie made a few laps ago and he does make it stick this time Robinson retakes the lead, and here comes Walsh back down the inside, into the elbow, these two are absolutely at it, between each other, they go then into the little kink, up towards start finish, and Walsh re-holds that lead, they're going to have two laps to go here, next time round it will be the final lap, there's a, a battle going on for 4th, 5th and 6th, but we'll stay with our leaders, because this is the action for the race win, down the inside went Robinson, made it stick through middle bend and then quite cleverly Oscar Walsh just tucked himself back up the inside and got the run into the left hander at the dog leg at the elbow and then they were side by side Ooh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of this is my corner here Jack from Oscar Walsh and the pair of them are about to start their final lap what have these two got in store then don't take your eyes off Number three, and the DRS play. He goes defensive, does Walsh. It's fairly early in the lap to start with that sort of behaviour. Going to the loop once more. Will he try and undercut him on the way out? He is going to try and undercut him. It's a long way around the outside, though. On the way, he switches to the inside. He switches to the inside, does Robinson. He sold him a dummy on the way into the top bend that time. Now Oscar Walsh does have the inside line into the left-hander at the dog leg. He will hold on now. This is where he's been vulnerable. He's been vulnerable on the way out, and he's got to run him again. Robinson's got to run him again. This is where he's been vulnerable for three or four laps, and Robinson retakes the lead. His time is to perfection. He's got three cars. Hold on, and Walsh goes back to the inside. Will he manage to get him through the left-hander? He doesn't. They're going to come side by side through the final corner. Will he try and stick it around the outside? He's going to try. He doesn't quite get there. Over the line, almost together. But it was Jack Robinson by absolutely a hair's width. 0 0.0.016. One hundredth of a second between Robinson and Walsh, who have delivered an absolute treat of a first heat for the DRS 62s. Super stuff between the pair of them. No quarter given, none taken, but all very, very clean, hard, tough racing between the pair of them. It's Jack Robinson then who does win the first heat by the smallest of margins. Third place, a super drive from Nat Johnston. Ewan Scott did get the better of Bailey Wolf 
for fourth place. Benjamin Baker was sixth, Harley Drake was seventh, and Oliver Harrison was eighth. And we might all need a rest. Here is the move down the inside. They'd sort of worked each other out with three or four laps to go, and they knew where they could attack each other. And this time, Walsh had to go to the outside into the elbow, which is a tough way. It's a long way to go around the outside, and Robinson just managed to hold him off. They came side by side. We'll see if we can get a shot of them coming over the line because they were pretty much absolutely together as they came over the line. Well, we know they were because they were, well, they were just about a hundredth of a second between the two drivers. So the DRS 62 pre-final just about to make their way onto the circuit. Jack Robinson, courtesy of that absolute barnstormer with Oscar Walsh. And coming out on top of that means that he's on pole position alongside the old adversary, Oscar Walsh. Also the, uh, the title rivals, these two at the moment. And we're only four rounds in, plenty of time, plenty of points to be earned. But at the moment, the two of them we hope will give us a repeat performance of what we've just seen in the first heat. Nat Johnston lines up on the inside of row two. Can he keep tabs on these two? Can he go with them in a breakaway and still be there come the end of this race? Alongside them, Ewan Scott, third in the championship at the moment. And the first of our academy drivers, Bailey Wolf on the inside of row three with Benjamin Baker alongside him. And then Halle Drake and Oliver Harrison on row number four. Row five sees Dorian Malek and Ashton Redpath. And then Daxton Groves and Lucas Esser on row six with Ethan Whitlam on 13th and Cruz Dalton on 14th with Oscar Roach. And Indigo Pickering are the last two drivers in that section and followed by Jensen Woodhouse and Ava Reynolds 17th and 18th so 18 of these DRS 62 drivers ready guys trying to get the best possible start position for the main final, the main final for those tuning in at home for the DRS 62s is four o'clock this afternoon. We've got an hour's time before we see these DRS 62s once more. So following us on Facebook, watching the live stream on YouTube. Feel free to post your support the drivers that you are hoping to plow on top this afternoon. These are our youngest of all the drivers in the series. And certainly provide us with, if not the most entertainment, very close to it, it has to be said. So Robinson and Walsh on the front row. It'll be a drag race between the two of those into the first corner. What we have seen is we've seen an emergence, haven't we, of drivers from the second row starting particularly well and almost getting a, a, a tour, getting dragged a slipstream up towards the first corner from the, from the front row. So let's see if the likes of Nat Johnston can make, take advantage of that and Ewan Scott, who starts on the outside of the second row, the number four, they're all fairly nicely formed as they go up towards the start-finish line. The lights are red. And they go green at the first time of asking. Look at Johnston down the inside. Matt Johnston down the inside. He's going to go into the lead. I think he has a Walsh around the outside. So what's happened to Robinson there? Got a really slow getaway. I think he's back in fourth 
place at the moment. So it's Walsh who got the best of the starts. Johnston was a, a missile, wasn't he, from the inside of the second row as they all stream up towards the right hander of top bend. And they swing back towards us now through the dog leg. What a dream start for Oscar Walsh in terms of not only the fact that he's in the lead, but the fact that his main title rival is a little bit further down the path than he would have liked to have been at this point. I think he's in fourth place, Robinson. Check as they come back round. Oh, a little mistake from Nat Johnston through the left. He's going to come under some pressure here. It is fourth place for the DRS play. It's not going to be for long, though, because he moves up. Not one point. Well, he doesn't move up one place at the expense of Bailey Wolf, who now drops. Is now under a little bit of pressure from... Ewan Scott and Benjamin Baker as well. So Johnston is still in second place. Oscar Walsh leads. Robinson then is in third. Can he dispatch to Johnston quickly? That's what he'll be thinking. Oh, his contact in the dog leg as well. It involves the, the number 55, which is Lucas Hesser. Who was the other driving for? The 1 2 1 then of Harley Drake. So Harley Drake, who was. Well, where was he? He was up into seventh at one point. That was the Nat Johnston error that just allowed for. He almost backed everyone else up, didn't he, to overtake each other. Here is the incident into the dog leg. Oh, it's just a mistake. Ah, okay. So not really anybody at fault, it was the one 2 four of uh, Dorian Malek who just lost it, he just dropped it, he was almost too busy looking over his shoulder to see what had happened, to see what was happening with his own car and then just spun round and he was caught, wasn't he, he was tanked by the chasing pack who all fell over each other into the dog leg. Now then, significant change here because Robinson is up to second, or he was up to second and Johnson says no thank you. I'll take that second place back, and here comes the Robinson again, trying to retake that place. Just have a look at Bailey Wolf in behind, and the number seven as well of Benjamin Baker. Where is Walsh? So, uh, sorry, you and Scott. So, you and Scott down in sixth place at the moment. They're having a squabble, aren't they? Second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. What they could might be better doing is getting their heads down and dragging themselves towards Oscar Walsh at the front of this field, giving them all a chance of being in the closing stages. Johnston would be well suited here, just sticking onto the back of Jack Robinson, trying to get dragged along towards Walsh, because Robinson will chase Walsh down, I'm sure, in the same way that Walsh chased Robinson down in the first heat this morning. Are we about to have a three-car battle for the lead? It certainly looks like it, doesn't it? Could be even more than that. Over the line they go. Well, we didn't think the first heat could get any better, but this is warming up very, very nicely indeed as they go through the right-hander and into the left of the loop. And down the inside goes Robinson. Hits the front nice and early. So, Jack Robinson, new leader, has recovered all those places that he lost from a pretty terrible start, it has to be said. And all of a sudden finds himself back out front. Walsh demoted to second. Johnston looking lively in third place. Leader then, new leader, Jack Robinson. Second in the championship. Here's the move. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. He made a huge mistake, did Oscar Walsh. Ran very, very wide, and it was a gift in the end for Jack Robinson. And now Walsh is going to try and get back on terms, going to try and find a way through if he possibly can. There's nothing happening at the loop this time round. Just shows you how costly. A small error, a small misjudgment, a little bit too fast into a corner, a little bit of not clipping an apex properly. Just shows you how important that can be in the grand scheme of things. You lose so much momentum around this Risington circuit when you don't get it right. And we've seen so many little mistakes again. Maybe it's the heat, maybe it's the way that the tyres are reacting with the surface. We've seen lots of little, little unforced errors from drivers. That's given the opportunity to other people as the DRS 100 class streams through.
So there's your front two. Now the gap back to Johnston is interesting, isn't it? Because he just can't keep with the pace of these front two. Here comes Walsh down the inside. Did this in the first heat, didn't he? Walsh to the inside, retakes lead. Might help Matt back Johnston this. If these two keep squabbling over it, might just help Johnston as Robinson slides back down the inside on the way to the and through to complete another lap over they come then how many have we got left now two minutes just over two minutes remaining here here was the move then for the lead a lap or so ago but anytime that Oscar Walsh does this does leave himself susceptible for the the retake on the way down towards bottom bend, and that's exactly what happened. We've got a contact one in for you and Scott. So you and Scott, who's down, he was in, he was in sixth place, in fifth place at the expense of Bailey Wolf, which could well be why the contact warning is in place. Nat Johnston's still third. He'd love these two to squabble, wouldn't he? He'd love these two to start to scrap over this. Oh, and down inside comes Walsh. They are going to scrap over it. Down the inside into the left hander at the elbow the new race leader is oscar walsh then johnston don't rule matt johnston out here if these two fight like they fought in the first heat they will bring that johnston back into play here no doubt about that ewan scott is fourth benjamin baker is fifth bailey wolf is in sixth place so walsh is who leaves robinson has now got to be the aggressor he's got to find a way through We've got a minute we've got four laps here still to go or three and a half laps still to go through the elbow down the hill you can see how the camber changes you only start to see the top of the helmets because they drop so far at the far end of this circuit so through the left hander once again what have we got now 40 yeah 40 seconds they will they won't get round will they so this will be two to go this will be two to go. Where does Robinson plan his attack? Is it in here? Just seen a, a replay. Oh, that was the overtaking manoeuvre into the elbow. He's got such a good run, didn't he, Walsh? He just got, oh, he was almost, he was all the way alongside by the time they'd hit the corner. Right then, has Robinson got any answer? He had, a hand, he had an answer in the first heat, didn't he? Or he found a way past. Has he got an answer now? It's going to be the last lap. We think this time round. Up they come then. Does Walsh go defensive? How close could Johnston get here? One lap to go. Walsh and Robinson. Then Johnston, who is getting closer as they start to defend. There's a long way to go around this circuit on the inside, but he's going to try it. Is Walsh goes now to the inside to defend at the loop, and he's managed to do that successfully. He's halfway there, isn't he? Oscar Walsh done a good job so far. Does he run wide? Oh, a little bit. He ran a little bit wide through the right-hander. Managed to just keep it together. He's got to defend down into the dog leg. He does. Robinson has been quick from here, though. This is where Robinson is quick. Out of this corner, on the way down to the bottom bend. I think he's covered it off as Walsh. Look at Johnston. He's within two cart lengths now. He could upset the apple cart in a couple of corners to go. Here we go, then. Into the elbow. He defends does Walsh. They might come side by side on the short run up towards... Start finish, I think he's covered it off. Oscar Walsh, he has covered it off. It's a super win for Oscar Walsh. Second place this time for Jack Robinson. Third and a good third for Nat Johnston. Where did the rest come home? Ewan Scott was fourth. Benjamin Baker, fifth. Bailey Wolf was in sixth. Oliver Harrison, seventh. And Dorian Malek was eighth. Cruz Dalton was nine. Daxton Gross was tenth. That's so he turned around the heat, didn't he? So Oscar Walsh turned round the result from the heat. It was Jack Robinson who got the better of him in the first heat. This time, it's Walsh who gets the better of Robinson in the pre-final. That could be a very entertaining final indeed come this afternoon. Keep your eyes peeled at three o'clock, at four o'clock rather, the DRS 62 final will be with us. Before that, we've got the DRS 125 for their pre-final scheduled in just around about eight minutes time
down on the dummy grid for the first time today. You can, you can sort of hear and see, I'm sure, that the wind here it is incredibly windy down here on the dummy grid. It's incredibly warm as well, particularly humid. So the drivers have got to deal with all these different elements as they begin their preparation for their main final. The drivers are just getting themselves into carts. They've got just about three or four minutes to go before they start their their main final. The two drivers that we obviously are, are looking towards or we expect to be battling out for, for the race win here are the two that are fighting for the championship as well. So you've got Jan Robinson who will start on the outside of the front row, the, the DRS plate, and then you've got the number three of Oscar Walsh who set a new lap record today as well of 48.006 earlier on today. So Robinson who was fastest in the qualifying session this morning won the first heat but then we had a role reversal in the, in the pre-final where Oscar Oscar Walsh managed to find his way through. Behind them on row two, you've also got the likes of Nat Johnston. Now, Nat benefited from these two fighting it out. And if they do fight it out again, I'm sure that young Nat will think he's got a chance of being up there at the front of the field as well. So as they, they fall over each other, if you like, and slow each other down, that will allow the, the drivers from the row behind. And don't just think about Nat when you consider that. Also think about Bailey Wolf on the outsider, straight from our DRS Academy. So he's the first of the Academy drivers. They're the, the black plates with the white numbers. Uh, so he's on the outside, or sorry, the inside of the um, also the outside of the second row as well so we could see drivers come from a little bit further back as well you look at the quality that we've got on row three here with the likes of Oliver Harrison and Benjamin Baker and then all the way through this field we've got high quality look all the way back to the inside of the sixth row you've got fourth place in last year's championship Ewan Scott third in the championship so far this year so anything could happen here especially if the two at the front start to fall over each other we are literally two minutes away from our first grand final of the day the DRS 62 grand final we'll be back with you in a few moments So first final is on circuit, led by our pre-final winner, Oscar Walsh. Our championship leader, Oscar Walsh, our new lap record holder, Oscar Walsh. But he won't have it all his own way, we can be sure of that. Jack Robinson alongside him was first in qualifying, was first in the first heat as well. And he's just behind him in the championship. So they are the two that you would instantly look to. There could be quite a few more who have a say. What about the fast starting Nat Johnston? He usually gets away ever so well. Round they come then. Will they go the first time of asking? Walsh and Robinson. Over the line they go then. Look at Johnston right down the inside. We said he started fast and he started very, very fast. Oh, there's contact a little bit further back, including Bailey Wolf. And there's contact further back from that. Wolf gets hit again. And Wolf's been in all kinds of wars. There's contact further back. So there is several drivers involved in an incident. I think they're all okay. They are just getting themselves sorted there's one that's mounted on top of another but the drivers I think the drivers are okay they're moving around fairly freely will they go red here will we go full course yellow we are yellow at the moment while they saw so both drivers are fine all three drivers at the top of the circuit are fine one of them is I think one of them is surely we're gonna go full course yellow yes full course yellow right decision for me no need to go red, they're still, they're still squabbling a bit further down the pack. Drivers need to see this and slow down. They've now seen it, they now will slow down. A little bit of contact by a couple. 
Oh, okay. So I thought Bailey Wolf was one of those. He's not. Bailey Wolf's still in the pack. He's about 10th, 12th. So he wasn't one of the drivers involved in that. For here is the incident. Wow. Bailey Wolf was certainly involved, and there was contact further back, including the 55. Lucas Ezer was involved. The 127 of Jensen Woodhouse was involved. Here it is. And it's just a concertina effect as they're all trying to squabble for position. So now, those that haven't seen this flag before, the time will continue. We will affect the leader becomes a pace car. And they will circulate behind each other. But what a start from Nat Johnston. What a start right down the inside. We said he started really quickly. He got a great run off the start line. And he powered his way to the front of the field. So they will stay under this flag until the officials are happy that the circuit is clear. And then it will be who gets the best of the restart. So the way that they've sorted themselves out after that first lap squirmish and that incident is that Nat Johnston is the leader. Benjamin Baker is in second, Oscar Walsh and Jack Robinson third and fourth. So look for those two to come through quite quickly. Oliver Harrison is fifth, Ewan Scott is sixth, Harley Drake is seventh, then Aston Redpath, Ethan Whitlam and Oscar Roach. They are the top ten. Bailey Wolf out of interest, he's back in eleventh. Right, are we going to go green this time? I think we are. There's a green flag behind the quarter flag with the starter. Will we go green? Will she leave? Yes, we do. We're green this time. And away we go. The second time of asking for the DRS 62s. Green flags around. And we are back under full race conditions. And Walsh down the inside of Baker. Can he make it stick? Baker just holds that line now. We'll probably reclaim that place. He will now. Will Walsh go to the inside as they head down the hill? He will, but Baker should have the inside line. No, he doesn't. Walsh makes it stick. So good start from Oscar Walsh to this restart of the DRS 62 main final. We've got, how long have we got? Eight minutes. So we probably lost three minutes under the, uh, under the full course yellow as Walsh just powers his way past the previous leader of Nat Johnston. Johnston all, all of a sudden is demoted again. Now the only driver who's losing out here is Robinson. Robinson is just caught in behind a couple of these. He's making a move now. Will he go up to second? He will. So just as we were saying that Robinson was going to struggle if he didn't make some inroads fairly quickly. He nipped down the inside of two of them and has retaken second place. Now then, are we going to get a repeat of Heat 1? Or are we going to get a repeat of the pre-final? I fully expect these two to come together and join each other in a battle for the lead. Hopefully they give us plenty of time to squabble over a race win. Can they give us another DRS Classic here at Little Risington? Robinson has got to get his head down. He's got to get after Oscar Walsh. He's got to chase. The leader, the number three, Nat Johnston is third. This is almost a, a carbon copy, isn't it, of the pre-final. Keep an eye on the gap between the front two. That's the bit that we're interested in. And last time round, the gap was nine tenths of a second between Walsh and Robinson. What is it now? Eight tenths of a second. So he's taken a tenth. He's taken a tenth out of Oscar Walsh on that previous lap. That would be enough, wouldn't it? If he just chips away at it. He would have enough.
Gap was eight tenths. Fastest lap of the race so far for Jack Robinson, 48.2. Gap now is six tenths, so yes, it is coming down now. As we expect, it's obviously easy, always easier to chase when you are. In pursuit of a race leader, always easier to use their, them as a marker, especially if there's very little between the drivers in terms of overall pace as well. And we haven't seen an awful lot between Jack Robinson and Oscar Walsh today, have we, in terms of outright pace? Just keep an eye on that Johnston. Now, what Johnston's done well here is he knows he's not as quick as the front two, but he probably is quicker than everybody else. So he's just put himself in a position where if he keeps pushing, he keeps this gap as, as minimal as he can, he can hope that these two fall over each other and bring him right back into play. If they'd have carried on for another lap, in the pre-final, Matt Johnston would have had a say in the outcome of that race. No question of that at all. Right then, where are our leaders? The gap was six times last time. In fact, last time round, a good response from Oscar Walsh. He just stopped this, the closing in of Jack Robinson. He kept the gap at the same. The drivers that were involved in that earlier instant, by the way, Dorian Malek, Lucas Hesse, Jensen Woodhouse, all absolutely fine. Uh, Cards have or will be recovered after this race. For the leaders, then gap was six times now, four times. Good lap from Robinson, 48 1 1 2 from Jack Robinson. That's the best he's seen today, I think. So front two then, look at them now. They've just come out of the bottom bend. And he's taken, so in the last lap, he's taken three tenths of a second to push himself right onto the back bumper now of Oscar Walsh. There they are. It's a really good lap this from Robinson. Can he carry that momentum and pick him off early? Can he get the job done quickly? Will he have a look into the loop? He's been here before, hasn't he? He's had a little look here before today. Decides not to this time. Walsh will be very, very aware of what's going on behind him. Walsh, Robinson. How big's the gap back to Nat Johnston? So, two seconds back to Nat Johnston, and he's lapping around about four tenths of a lap slower than the front two. He can just pick up a little bit of pace, just in case, give himself a chance if there is a, an all-out war between these two in the closing, what have we got now? Three minutes or so to go. That's all in this first grand final of the day. Walsh, Robinson, absolutely together now. They go through the loop once more, left-hander, pop out, bring the carts back to the towards the left to get the best line for the right-hander at top bend. A little bit of a miss of an apex from... Walsh didn't really hurt him that much and now into the dog leg once more these two absolutely together look a bit further down Benjamin Baker is fourth and Ewan Scott is fifth what a good recovery drive from Bailey Wolf back up into sixth place he was in the walls wasn't he in those first couple of corners Oliver Harrison behind him in seventh and Aston Road Path and Oscar Roach is up another couple of places into ninth Cruz Dalton is tenth Indigo Pickering what a good drive from Indigo into eleventh and Ava Reynolds as well Going well up in 12. Here are the leaders. Is Robinson going to leave this late? Really late? Is he going to have a go on the last lap? Well, what Walsh did show that he has good defensive skills. He misses that apex again. And that did hurt him. He, he is a lot closer now, Robinson. So the miss of the apex, the little mistake into top bend last time. Just allowed Robinson to get right up there, right up close behind. The two of them head down towards bottom bend. They're going to come across a back marker here as well. 
What sort of influence does that have on proceedings? Who is the back marker? We've just seen them come through now. It's the one-two-one of Harley Drake. We might come across him in a, in a lap or so. There's no change with these two at the moment. Through the left-hander again. What have we got left? 45 seconds, so it's going to be two and a half laps from here. Two and a half laps. When does Robinson decide he's had enough? When does he want to make it? What would say he's not actually that really that close, is he? Walsh, oh, he's made a mistake there, Walsh thought. Little mistakes, just little tiny ones. Just allowing a little bit more hope for Robinson. Allowing him to get back on terms. When he gets a little buffer, and he has been, I think he's slightly quicker, Oscar Walsh, when he puts consistent lap times together. When he makes those little errors, those little bits of mistakes, misses an apex here, runs wide there, then he's got problems. Right, two to go then. Two laps to go, there's no change further back. Matt Johnston is now a distant four seconds away from these front two who are setting a, a blistering pace. Bailey Wolf is up to fifth. Oliver Harrison is up to sixth. Ewan Scott has dropped down to seventh. Right then, you've got a lap and a half. Here's the back mark. I need the need blue flags good from post five. I need the, the back mark is not going to come at a nice time for Oscar Walsh. Don't want to hit him in the middle of that chicane. And now he goes defensive. He knows he's got a lap and a half. Where they come across the back marker, need to get him out of the way. He's not got out of the way. He's held them up. He's held them both up. Now then, they go to the inside. They have dispatched to the back marker. Now. Oh no! Only one of them has. Only Walsh got past the back marker. Robinson has got to force his way through. It shouldn't have hurt him too much, but it shouldn't really have happened in the first place. Could have been huge drama of the back marker getting in between Walsh and Robinson. We're on the last lap as well. Now Robinson needs something really special. He needs a couple of really fantastic corners to get back on terms. Has he done it? He's now got half a cart length to find. He's got to do something really late and really brave, you would imagine. He's got a couple of corners. The, the bottom bend is a preferred option of his. He's not close enough now. He's not close enough. There's another back marker coming into play as well. This will get really tasty in the last couple of corners. They've got to get through the elbow. He doesn't need to defend Walsh and he knows it as well. He knows he can probably canter it from here. He's just got the back marker to get past, which he has just about. And Oscar Walsh then wins the grand final. Robinson got right up in behind, but never managed to displace him from the lead. It's a third place for Nat Johnston. A couple of back markers made it interesting at the end as well. Would have been a little bit heart in mouth for Oscar Walsh when he came round the outside of the back marker on the last corner of the grand final. But Oscar Walsh kept his cool and claims the grand final win over Jack Robinson. These two, you get the feeling that the championship will go down to the wire with these two, don't you? Matt Johnson third, Benjamin Baker fourth, Bailey Wolf super drive from him considering that he had all those issues in the, the first lap and the first couple of corners. He came home in fifth place. He was a top DR Daniel Ricciardo Academy driver as well. Oliver Harrison was sixth, Ewan Scott was seventh, Aston Redpath, Oscar Roach and Cruz Dalton were the top ten, just outside the top ten, Indigo Pickering and Ava Reynolds. Welcome to the trophy presentation for round four of the Daniel Ricciardo series here at Little Risington. We will start with the uh, DRS 125 drivers, our senior category today. And in third place, number four, Tom Snape. In second place, and our grandmaster for the day as well, the DRS player of Firaz Bilbezi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and today's winner, the number 183 of Ben Gartside. Ladies and gentlemen, the DRS 125 top three. <laughs> On 
On to our DRS 100s and the winner of the B final today, the number 128, Oscar Wormsley Jones. And into the main grand final, our top rookie today, 12th place finish for number 162, Casty Southall. <laughs> and today's top three then, in third place, number nine, Daniel Weir. For the first time this season, not on the top step of the podium, but a great drive nonetheless from number three, Maximilian Salaski. <laughs> and today's winner went off from the front and was never headed. It's the DRS plate of Freddie Cox. Our DRS 100, top three, everyone. And our DRS 62s. First of all, our DRS 62 Academy drivers, our top three. Third place, ninth overall for 136, Oscar Roach. <laughs> and second of our DRS Academy drivers, an eighth place overall finish for Aston Redpath. And our DRS 62 Academy winner, a super drive into fifth overall for the DRA plate of Bailey Wolf. <laughs> the DRS Academy top three. And finally, our DRS Supers, probably the, the closest weekend of racing we've had for DRS Supers for, for some time. And in third place overall, the number five of Nat Johnston. Second place in a really closely run final, just didn't get there in the end, the DRS plate of Jack Robinson. And today's DRS 62 super winner, the number three of Oscar Walsh. The DRS 62s. And that's a wrap from us here at round four of the Daniel Ricciardo series here at Little Risington. We'll take our summer break and be back in a month's time at round five in the south of Wales at Landau. We'll see you there.